So you guys know the Titan from Attack on Titan, right? It's the show with the giant Titan creatures that try to eat everybody. Well, today I gained the powers to pour into the Titans. I can become the Attack Titan, the Female Titan, the Armored Titan, and also by the end, the Colossal Titan. Let me show you guys how I did it. Guys, Vessi has sent me out into the wilderness with ODM gear on a quest to become a Titan. Uh, so by the intro, you know that there's four different Titans I can become. The Attack Titan, the Female Titan, the Armor Titan, and then finally, by the end, the Colossal Titan, which I'm planning to use in order to slap the Ender Dragon out of the sky. Now, the only issue is I am not the only Titan. I'm not even a Titan to begin with. I'm literally just a little tiny person. But I do have ODM gear and my Ultra Hard Steel Swords. The only only way to become a titan is to defeat one and then eat its spinal fluid if you guys do want to try this out for yourself i will leave download links in the description below because this is just so amazing i've been a big fan of the show for literally the past decade so this is just so cool that i actually was able to put together mods and data packs in order to recreate the experience of attack on titan it's a little bit derpy this dude looks like his arms are just slightly turning into spider arms where are the creepers coming from i forgot yeah i'm gonna have to deal with normal minecraft things okay but i'm gonna have to kill this thing and if you guys are fans of the show or the manga, you know that the only way to kill it is by slicing its ankles and also slicing the nape, which is its neck. Luckily, I started out with ODM gear that has the gas propelling system, and it also has steel swords. So I should be able to go up to this thing and then just slice its neck. It's literally standing perfectly by the tree. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit its feet first. Oh, okay, so we're gonna slice the ankle. Nope. No, 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 it does so much damage. It's so fast too. This ODM gear is sick though. I can literally move around so fast. We have two normal Titans on us. It looks like this one lost interest, but I'm gonna need to kill this thing and collect its spinal fluid so then I can gain the power of a Titan and then I can wipe these things out. Okay, we're gonna try to go for it. Yes, did I do damage? Oh my gosh. Wait, I sliced it down. Okay, let's use this to go up and then I can slice its neck. No, it's back up and I'm almost dead. This is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. I am literally like a level one cadet in the Scout Corps. I'm basically like a very young, very ignorant Aaron Yeager. But my goal by the end of today is to become a Captain Levi. I don't know if it's actually possible because he's really, really, really good and I'm not. But I'm gonna try. So we're gonna go directly for the ankles. Oh, come on. I sliced its ankles. We're going back in for the final hit. No. Oh, we took it down. And would you look at that? So in our inventory right now, we have the Titan Spinal Fluid. Uh, let's go ahead and drink it. Wait, what's happening? What's going on? What? We did it. Look at it. We became the Attack Titan. And surprisingly, I still have my ODM gear on. Wait, can I use it? I can? What? I am legitimately the first Titan to ever use ODM gear. It is slightly broken. This is amazing though. Okay, so I am now 15 blocks tall and I do so much damage. I'm so much bigger than these Titans too. I don't even care about killing them. I can jump super high. I can also just run super fast because my legs are huge. I also get health boost and regeneration. I'm pretty sure I have a couple other abilities too. So I should be able to shrink back down to normal. So I can just pop out of the neck of this creature whenever I want, especially if things get a little bit hairy. And I believe I also have the ability to crystallize myself. Wait, did it work? I think I'm inside of a crystal right now. Oh my gosh, it did work. So for whatever reason, I'm in a sketchy scenario where I don't want to die. I can literally just surround my body with a crystal of a titan. That is so cool. It's literally just like the manga and the anime from Attack on Titan. The only downside is that it takes a ton of energy to become a titan. So there's going to be a little bit of a cooldown. But if I'm able to kill even more titans and get their abilities, then I should be able to eventually morph into the female titan, the armor titan, and then finally the colossal. This iron golem is so confused. <laughs> <laughs> it has no idea what to do with this titan. Don't worry, buddy. You're doing great. Here, I'll go ahead and try to help you a little bit. We actually got it. Except for whatever reason, that one didn't drop any titan spinal fluid. We still need to do basic Minecraft things. So we're going to go ahead and get all the bread we can so we can carbo load up and have lots of energy. Uh, next time we become a titan. We'll plop those in there. Turn that into very, very cool looking wheat. I will gladly use this crafting table. Turn the plants into edible bread. And hopefully bread's enough in order to fill the stomach of lots and lots of massive titans. Just in case we're going to slice up a lot more weed. Let's grab the white wood. We'll turn the white logs into white planks. I see meat. Oh my gosh, dude. I forgot how much damage these things do. I honestly don't think I'm going to need any armor or any other weapons today. So I also forgot to mention that at nighttime, I'll actually be safe from other titans. For whatever reason, they become much less active at night. So I should be safe. I just need to worry about other mobs. And look at that. Okay, around me, you could see that we have our titan abilities back. You never want to use the titan ability in confined spaces because 
because you could just destroy everything and then you could just get stuck. Like if I were to morph into the attack Titan right now, I would literally just get stuck in this ravine. So I need to be smart about it. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade our tools to wooden pickaxe. We shall use wooden pickaxe in order to upgrade in order to get stone pickaxe. Sticks into stunks, bippity boppity, and then we'll use that to upgrade into iron pickaxes. The only thing we really need iron for is buckets. Once we can get some buckets, then we're literally good to go to the nether. Combine these in a circle in order to get a furnace. Plop down furnace, plop in the coal, plop in the iron. Come on, gravel, bless me. As a subject of Ymir, I need flint in order to win. I am, yes, I am back, bro, Aaron Yeager. All right, cool, we have enough for two buckets. One, two. We'll eat the iron together with the flint to get our flint and steel. We'll yoink that. We yoink this. And now let's use our Titan abilities to get out of this hole. <laughs> Hopefully this works. What? Uh, yeah, so that's why you don't use this in confined areas because that just happened. So my entire body turned into a Titan. It immediately rejected itself and then the Titan form died. So it actually turned out okay. It protected my actual body and my Titan made the sacrifice. That was the giant skeleton that you saw. That was the Titan remains. Unfortunately, that means we're gonna have to dig our way out of here. Oh, there's an enderman. Perfect, dude, we can kill this thing so fast. Plus, as a Titan, even though we're still in human form, we have extra regeneration. Also, it turns out I was completely wrong about worrying about Titans at night. I don't see as many as I usually do, but there's still a couple. They're wide out in the open, so that's not normally the best spot that you want to try to fight a massive Titan. This one's perfect. It's over in the trees. So I should be able to use the trees as cover. It's walking through the trees? I forgot. They're Titans. They can literally topple down whatever they want. Oh, there's two on me. Nap, 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 nap. It's really trying to get me here. It's going all around the trees. I've got a couple hits off on it. I'm so... The nap in its neck! What is happening? Come on! How is he not dying? We took down another one! Let's go! Okay, let's grab the Titan Spinal Fluid. I think I picked it up. Okay, we can use our ODM deer to get way up there. So we're safe. Okay, we're gonna drink it. Okay, I'm charging up. Whoa! We just evolved into the female Titan! Look at it, and the mobs around me, because I'm so hot, are actually burning. Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? You're a little guy now. So I think the female Titan is a little bit shorter than the attack Titan, but I'm a little bit faster, but I have the ability to harden different parts of my body, so I can do more damage to any mobs around me. This is crazy, too, how every single time I morph into a different Titan, it actually shows, like, the skin and everything, and it updates all of my abilities. Whoa. Whoa, wait, look at it! Okay, so that's how I harden all of my different body parts. So now I can do increased damage to all mobs around me. Come here, bacon. That's right, little bacon. That's right. Look, look. <laughs> my arms and legs are literally just frozen solid. I've hardened them. This is so cool. It's literally just like the show. And look at that. We actually just found a lava pool too, so we can go to the nether next. Once I get all the blaze rods, I'll come back and then I'll get some more spinal fluid so then I can upgrade into the armor titan. That is after I collect a little bit more food. Titans are very massive, so we get extremely hungry. Wait, wait, what's going on? What's going on? Am I shrinking? Am I shrinking down? I don't know what's happening. Oh, wait a second. Okay, it looks like my knees and my hands unhardened. So I can only do it for a limited period of time. The Titans with the blades look so cool. Oh, okay. So we transform back to normal. Look at the particle effects. So every single time you transform, it gets really, really, really hot. As you can tell, this is my skeleton Titan. So it is slowly and steadily cooling off. I'm really excited to see the different abilities of the armor Titan, which is literally one of my favorite Titans. But first things first, we're gonna need to go to the nether so that we can actually get to the end dimension eventually and then use the Colossal Titan to beat the Ender Dragon. Uh, be sure to stick until the end so you guys don't miss out. And also, while you're at it, you might as well hit that subscribe button, especially if you made it to this far in the video. It's completely free, and if you change your mind later, you could always unsubscribe. But I would highly recommend not doing that, or else all your cookies are actually gonna go stale. Okay, we'll make our infinite water pool, put our lava there, water on top, and then we make obsidian. Okay, we completed that, and then now we can activate the nether portal. And I am so excited to try to use our ODM gear in the nether. Let's test it out. So this should make it way easier. It is, dude. It's literally just like grappling hooks. The nether is perfect for it, too, because there's literally so many different places where you can use it. Who's blowing me? What, what is this? You want to die? You want to die today? Do you not know who I am? Big bro, Captain Levi Jaeger? Don't even think about it. I get insane regeneration. So any single time these things even touch me, I'm already regening the health back. That is the power of a titan, even in human form. This is definitely not the best spot to become a titan, but I might have to do it at some point, especially if my health gets too low. That's another great use of the titan abilities is if you're about to die, you can literally turn into a titan and gain the advantage. All right, well, we found the fortress. Now let's go steal the essence of the blazes. Don't even think about it. Don't look at me. Don't touch me. So slimy, so cubey, yet so dead. 
And I see the blazes. Blase, hello, blase. What the flip, dude? They're all shooting me. Okay, all right. Well, that's to be expected. I did just say I was gonna steal their souls and their essence. Now probably isn't the best time to turn into a titan because I would just become a bigger target for them. What I can do is slice them with my ultra hard steel swords. My body is literally just fighting off the wither effect and also whenever I'm on fire, it's insane. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Why would I do that? No, it's fine. It's fine. I am back bro, Captain Levi. I do not care about the small little lives of piglins. What is this? Hold on, don't shoot. Hold your fire. Cease fire, please. Let me kill you first. Oh, this is amazing. I'm so overpowered. There's more blazes down here. Oh, right by them. They had no idea. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Okay, that should be enough blaze rods. We literally have eight. Thank you, blazes. Now I can make my escape. This is sick, dude. I am literally just like Spider-Man. I just need to make sure that I don't accidentally come crumbling down to the ground because I still do take lots and lots of fall damage. We made it back safely and I hear a titan. Let's latch onto it. Oh, we sliced it, dude. Wait, we're getting way better at this. And look at that. It dropped the spinal fluid. Okay, cool. We picked it up. Now we should be able to upgrade into the armor titan. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I think I need my saturation to be full. So I need to make sure that I'm at full health and full saturation. Let's test it again. It worked. It did. This is amazing. I turned into Rhina. So the armor titan is slower than the attack titan and the female titan. But as the name implies, I have extra armor points and I believe I do much more damage. Plus I have this unique ability that when I transform back to normal, I'm pretty sure I can actually keep my hands and that'll protect my body. Body. You'll see what I'm saying in just a couple minutes here. But let's see if I can increase my armor. Wait, I might actually be able to let off some armor. I think I did it in order to go a little bit faster. So I just shed my armor in order to run faster and also punch faster. But at the same time, I'm gonna take a little bit more damage. But I can jump so much higher. Let's see if we can use this Titan in order to find some Endermen so that I can get the Ender Pearls and then we can go to the End Dimension. Before I do that, I need one more injection of Titan Spinal Fluid in order to become the Colossal. There's three Endermen just chilling right here. Come on. Okay, let's try to aggro all of them. I don't have my armor, but I still don't think I'm gonna die, especially to little tiny Enderman. The Titan right there is making me a little bit nervous, actually. This doesn't look good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna transform back to normal, and then I should be able to summon in a pair of Titan hands, hopefully. It's not working. It's literally not working. Okay, I took him out. We need to get back on the ODM gear. I need to eat some food so that my regeneration goes back to full. This is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and try to at least get some more Enderman kills and also the last piece of a Titan injection. So we're gonna latch on. That didn't work. It didn't work. Okay, latch on. Go to the next. Okay, now's a good opportunity to try to get the last piece of a Titan injection fluid. Let's go for this big boy. I got him first try. I'm getting really good at this. Let's see if it worked. We're gonna morph into the Colossal in three, two, one. Come on, yo. <laughs> This is crazy. Okay, let's take off my ODM gear and look how massive I am. So the Colossal really can't do much. My best attack is literally to just explode in a fiery explosion. But right now I'm stuck. I'm so big that I literally can't even move. I can like kind of jump around if I want, but I don't even know if it's worth it because every single jump I'm taking damage. Let's see if I can go hit this Enderman who's all the way down there. I don't even know if I'm doing damage can I just stop it? There's tons of mobs all the way down there. I don't know if you guys could even see them. They literally can't do anything to me. I am too big and too strong. I also don't think I can do any damage to them. It's really difficult to see from all the way up here. I do have one ability, but I'm going to save it for when we get to the end dimension. Okay, let's go try to morph back to normal. I think it worked. Oh my gosh, dude, every single mob is trying to kill me. Okay, we got the Enderman. Wait, look at that skeleton. It is massive. Since we've unlocked every single Titan, let's go get all of the ender pearls that we need in order to test out the colossal against the ender dragon. <laughs> Okay, we have 15. That should be enough. We'll plop this in there. We'll plop that in there with the pearls. And we have the eyes of the ender. Let's see where the end portal is. And then we can finish this. We found it. No, silver fist. Not today. Not today. Bibbidi bobbidi bibbidi 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 bibbidi. And in we go as a titan. Okay, we're going to use our ODM gear at the start in order to get rid of every single one of the end crystals just in case they heal the ender dragon enough. I want to make sure that the final blow is a one hit KO. Please don't hurt me. Don't don't hurt me, please. Come on. Okay, we're good. We're good. No, we have the power of a Titan. Why am I scared? We're fine. It's okay, Jack. It's fine. Just, yep, lightly tap it. Just tap it in. This is so cool. I literally can't believe this is happening right now. I never thought that there would be an amazing attack on Titan mod like this. Absolutely a massive shout out goes to the creators of these two data packs that I'm using. Be sure to go check them out in the description below and give them lots of love. This should be the last one. Really? Really? 
Really? And let's go ahead and we're gonna try this again. Oh my gosh, I almost died. The next time the Ender Dragon comes into land, I'm going to morph into the Colossal and then explode. Uh, the Ender Dragon's coming down. Okay, we're gonna morph right now. Come on, please work. It did. And now we're gonna use our ability in three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait. I'm actually able to damage it? Hold on. I didn't even use my ability. Wait, it might be charging up right now. Wait. I just punched the Ender Dragon and it died. I didn't even need to explode. Oh, wait, what happened? What's going on? What's happening? My entire body is heating up. So we beat the Ender Dragon, and as I was trying to explode, I literally broke my computer. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later. Back from Titan, out.